Barry, thanks for joining us. Um, team took a bit of stick last week uh, when we chatted uh, post Cowden Beath. How do you think they responded today? Your view of the, the 90? Oh, listen, they got stick last week. This week, I think you saw a performance that you know the fans would be proud of, where they had to dig deep at stages in the game, but we also were a good attacking threat. You know, we've had a good few chances, a couple in the second half, one or two in the first half. Um, and the, the boys, you know, have worked so hard through the week to make sure that we're prepared for this game. Um, and they showed their true discipline. Uh, and, you know, I'm extremely pleased with the way they went about their business today. Premiership opposition and some real household names in there and you've got some young boys who were in no way daunted by what was in front of them. No, uh, and they all took on board what we were asking them to do, um, which is, you know, just as important. But you look at our injury list, you look at their, um, you know, their bench and their... Uh, how strong their squad is and the options that they've got, you know, and I think the boys have got a lot to be happy about today um, because we have got a length of injury, so we're not making any excuses, but it doesn't help. Um, and I think the way we, we set up today made it very difficult for Hearts, but also allowed us to be a threat going forward. You mentioned about how we set up Ian Davison playing a wee bit further forward than last week. How do you think that worked? No, certainly, you know, we know uh, Davil can play in there and he's used all his experience throughout the game to be in the right position at the right time. And, uh, you know, there wasn't a failure today. You know, you look at the young boys, Ewan Valentine, Jamie Watson, right through the team. Um, it wasn't a failure. Uh, and I thought that, you know, it's been a tremendous strike for them to get themselves led, uh, which, you know, there's, sometimes there's not much you can do about that. Coming back to the Rovers goal, Nisbet uh, in some ways made it, a bit of power, a wee bit of strength, and, um, and he's, uh, he's got some eye for a goal. No, we knew that when we signed him, and he'll get better. Uh, we said that. Um, working with us, he'll certainly get better. But, you know, I think that overall, I mean, he was playing slightly out of position uh, to help the team. And I think that's the biggest thing, the team performance, uh, where guys that were maybe not playing their regular position worked for the team and got in good areas uh, and were certainly a threat. Is the greatest um, positive away from today then the fact that we really did um, perform as a unit? Yes, certainly. Uh, I think, you know, the, or how hard they worked as a team um, to limit, you know, a good team like Hearts uh, to very few opportunities, uh, you know. And it did, you know, they did have a lot of possession, but it's about scoring goals. We kind of look back on what might have been in, uh, at 1-0. It, it seemed that we were uh, kind of pressing and might have actually found ourselves uh, with a greater advantage. So a uh, lot of positives to take. Uh, well, how, how do you round up the, the kind of extra point and the kind of penalty situation at the end? No, listen, a lot of positives for the game. The penalties are for the foot they are. You know, you get an extra point. Would it have helped us in the long run, maybe? Uh, but when it comes down to it, the game's over the 90 minutes. We've played against Premiership opposition. We've not looked to our place. We've looked very you know, compact and disciplined in their position. Uh, and a lot to be happy with today. We did have the eyes of the country on us, given that the game was live on TV as well. So uh, it's good to send a message out to uh, particularly our uh, kind of league opponents that Wraith Rovers are, are getting uh, getting ready for uh, what's ahead. Yeah, you know, we've got another two games and hopefully a few of the boys that have been injured will be getting involved in the games um, because they're not quite back to full uh, strength yet. But, you know, come the first league game, we're hoping to have every day back um, available, or the majority back available, which, when they are, gives us a real strong squad to choose from. We're on the road next, um, up to the Highlands to play Inverness. Have you had a chance to take in any of their matches or any notion of uh, what their form's like at the moment? No, I've not had a chance to see Inverness, but we'll get the report done uh, today uh, and see how they're shaping up and you know adjust accordingly. Um, but it'll be another t- tough trip. Uh, no, I mean I know John Robertson very well, and he's a you know he's got them playing good football. Uh, so you know we'll have to work as hard as we did today, you know, to get anything from that game. The encouraging thing is John was here today watching Wraith Rovers uh, in person, and certainly he'll go up home and be thinking we're in for a game on Tuesday, which is uh, exactly what we want. Yeah, we want to be sending the right message out, you know. But I think John will be focusing his his own team as much as ours uh, to make sure that they do the right things to get a result, just like we'll be doing, uh, you know, tomorrow on Monday. Last week it was about acknowledging to Wraith Rovers fans that we, we should do better. Uh, a message for them this week? No, I just stay behind us. You know, it's important. You know, there'll be we don't there'll be ups and downs throughout the season, but we want to be more ups. Uh, and certainly they set a standard today that you know the fans would have appreciated and liked. And I hope they get the backing for that. Cheers, Barry. We enjoyed watching your team today. Cheers.